Hello and welcome to another nail art tutorial by me, Sarah Thompson. In this video, I will show you how to create a perfect look for Christmas or winter. Uh, it's perfect for this time of year. Um, I class it under the micro art category and I'll be using... Yes, there we go. That's the image I wanted. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do micro stars using chrome pigments. So for this tutorial, you will need your base coat, whatever base you decide to do your nails in. <clears throat> whether that's an acrylic powder, whatever you've used for your full set, acrylic powder, biab, hard gel. You'll need a matte top coat, so I've decided to use an NSI's matte top coat. You'll need a black design gel, so I'm using the NSI Secrets design gel. But whatever you use, just make sure it's one that leaves an inhibition layer. You'll need the sticky layer for sticking the chrome to. You'll also need... Uh, your chrome pigment so you can do this in any color that you like so there's a wide selection of chrome pigments that are available you could use chameleon chromes you could use plain chromes but for this I'm going to use my sinful mirror pigment uh, silver and I will be applying that with a, an applicator brush so you'll be needing one of those as well. You'll also need um, just a makeup brush I'm using just to dust the excess uh, pigment away at the end. And you'll also you need a gel top coat. I also have these brushes that I'll be using, a dot into a short liner and a long liner. So you'll be uh, needing those as well. So let's get started. So I've already prepared uh, a nail here with the colour that I'm using. So I've chosen to use NSI Polish Pro Pink Cashmere and I've done two coats of that. Once I've done that and set it under the lamp you'll then go in with your matte top coat. So you'll apply that to the full nail and then cure under your LED lamp for 60 seconds. <clears throat> Whilst that's set in, I'll get my design gel ready and load up my brush. So I will start with my dotting tool. <laughs> and I'll play one there, a dot there, and one there. <clears throat> I'll then use my long, fine liner art brush. When I load my brush up, I'll dip it into the paint, but I will scrape away all the excess. The key to this is to barely have any product left on the brush. So as you can see, there's barely any product on there. And I'll start from the centre of the spot and I'll draw vertical lines, one going up 
one going down. Same again on the other dot. And then I'll do horizontal lines. And you can leave it like that if you want to or you can put some shorter lines in between I think both ways look really effective but I'm just going to put some finer strokes in between There we go. Once I've drawn my design, I'll then place that under the lamp again for 60 seconds and cure that. Whilst waiting for that to cure, I'll get myself ready with my chrome pigment. So now that that has set in the lamp, <clears throat> I'll press my applicator into the chrome and you just want to gently rub and it just creates this amazing embossed effect that is so simple, so easy, but so effective. I'll then use a plain side of my brush to remove all the excess powder. Or you can use your duster brush. Now you've got two options here when choosing your finish. You can either Using your fine liner brush, just go over the nail art that you've already done and seal that with your gel top coat. Or you can use the gel top coat to seal the full nail. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've Decided to use my NSI Hema Free Gel Top Coat. It's a non wipe. And I'm just going to coat the full nail. And I'm sure you will agree that is stunning. Super easy. And I'll set that under the light now for 60 seconds. It Super easy Christmas nail art technique. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.